I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Texas Governor Greg Abbott held a press conference in Eagle Pass to provide an update on the 53 migrants found dead in a tractor trailer in San Antonio. The Texas governor slammed President Biden, saying he was warned that, quote, reduced border enforcement would lead to dire consequences. Listen to the rest of his remarks here. Been before coming out here and uh, maybe tell you a little bit more about some things that we shared in there. Uh, let me for, first start out with this, uh, and that is President Biden was warned in advance that reduced border enforcement would lead to dire consequences. And we have seen those dire consequences. One is record number of people coming across the border illegally. Another is a greater sense of lawlessness that comes from not enforcing the law. When, when whether it be migrants or any smugglers or anybody else see the laws enforced, uh, they will uh, abuse those laws. And we've seen increased brazenness by cartels that feel empowered because we do not have a federal government that's pushing back against those cartels and their illegal activity. And of course, the worst thing of all is the catastrophic death that we have witnessed. Now, we, we saw this horrendous death occur in a truck in San Antonio earlier this week. And it is heartbreaking. The numbers have increased. It is now reported that 53 people in that truck lost their lives. It is the deadliest migrant smuggling incident on U.S. soil and it's on President Biden's watch. The thing about it is that it's not the only way in which people who are trying to migrate here lose their lives. In the harsh, high temperature of Texas in the summertime, the Texas heat will prove even more deadly. Every year there are many reports about the migrants who lose their lives uh, in the heat. I was visiting with the sheriff moments ago, and he was telling me uh, reports about how uh, there have been multiple people in just the past week who had lost their lives, mostly from heat exhaustion. Uh, there may have been, uh, in addition to that, uh, one or two who lost their lives in the river. Uh, this is harsh terrain and harsh weather, and because of the way that the Biden administration is not enforcing the immigration law, attracting people and, and enticing people to make this very dangerous trek, causing them to lose their lives. I urge the president, stop the loss of lives. You have the ability to stop people from losing their lives if you make it clear that no one can come across illegally. There's a perfectly legal way that people can immigrate to the United States of America. It's that legal pathway, Mr. President, that you must insist upon, and if you do that, you will have a role in reducing the loss of life. Now, going back, many of these deaths could be prevented if Biden simply fully funded the Border Patrol operation of the United States of America and implemented the policies that the Border Patrol needs in order to do their real job. And the real job is not the paper processing work that they've been assigned to do. Their real job is both to secure the border as well as to do things like inspect the vehicle that was carrying those people who lost their lives. As you all surely know, the, the truck passed through a border point checkpoint. It was not inspected. It was not inspected because the Border Patrol does not have the resources to be able to inspect all of the trucks. And as a result, the Border, border Patrol did not have the capability of saving those lives. Mr. President, you can fix that if you provide what is categorized as the minimum number of Border Patrol officers that, who are needed to do the fundamental job of the United States of America and adequately fund their operations to make sure that they are going to be able to inspect those vehicles. Well, in Texas, we once again are going to try to step up and play a role by the state to address this catastrophe that President Biden is responsible for. Uh, today I'm announcing that uh, Texas is going to add 
additional truck checkpoints. The DPS will create and implement a checkpoint strategy beginning immediately where they will begin targeting trucks like the one that was used where these people perished uh, to make sure that we will have a better capability of perhaps stopping future trucks like that as well as stopping the smugglers and the cartel members who are trying to profiteer off of it. Now we're in Eagle Pass today for a reason. Eagle Pass is part of the Del Rio sector. And Del Rio sector has seen the largest number of illegal crossings in the past week. There was a time when most of the illegal crossings would take place in the Rio Grande Valley, and that's no longer true. Right now we're at ground zero here in, into Del Rio, where we have the largest number of border crossings, and we have information indicating that there could be a meaningful rise in the number of border crossings in this region. So we want to step up and make sure uh, that we will do more to better secure this area. Uh, as the mayor told me earlier, he said the situation in Eagle Pass has gone from bad to worse with the increased number of people coming through this area. Bottom line is this, despite the increasing numbers, despite these caravans on the Mexico side of the border right now, the Biden administration still is doing nothing whatsoever to stop it. Texas is going to take action to do our part to try to reduce the illegal immigration coming into our country. We're going to be adding more resources and stronger strategies to control all the borderland that is owned or controlled by state or local governments. Let me make clear what I just said. The property along the border is owner controlled typically by three different groups. There is some property that is owner controlled by state or local governments. This property we're on right now is controlled by the local government. There is other property that is owner controlled by the state. However, there is some property on the border that is owner controlled by the federal government. If it's owner controlled by the federal government, Texas does not have the authority or the capability to stop the illegal immigrants from going to that land. There's another area that, we're, that we're, we are working on, and that is private property. There are people, whether it be in this community or people up and down the border, who own property on the border. We are getting authorization from as many of them as we can for the state of Texas to be able to put up barriers, whether it be concertina wire or fences or other types of barriers, so we can prevent people from entering the United States and the state of Texas through that private property. <clears throat> Along these lines, I'm announcing a couple of new strategies that we're adding on to what we are already doing so that Texas can gain even greater operational control of the property owned by the state of Texas or local governments or private property owners. We are creating two strike teams the, the Texas Department of Public Safety is creating two strike teams to detect, deter, and apprehend unlawful crossings of illegal immigrants. Two strike teams deployed, uh, they will be deployed immediately right here in Eagle Pass.